On Friday, the Silicon Valley Bank was shut down by the feds. It was seized. All the money was frozen. Now, this is a pretty big deal. This bank had assets of $208 billion, making it the second largest bank to be shut down in this country's history. That's a big deal. And it has far-reaching problems, too. It's not just the bank. On the West Coast, a lot of people in the high-tech industry, the companies, had their money in that bank. A lot of the startups had their money in that bank. Most of the tech industry out there had their payrolls in that bank. So now a lot of people aren't going to get paid. This caused some issues, caused some problems. Now, the important question is, why did this happen? And I'll tell you why it happened. Because of Donald Trump and the Republicans saying, let's get rid of all regulations. Let the free market work. Let everybody be free and do what they want to do. Well, that's well and good if you could get rid of greed, corruption, and criminality, but you can't, not even in the banking system. And what happened here is this bank essentially fucked up. And when they fucked up, they let everybody know they fucked up, so it caused a run on the bank. People started taking money out of the bank, and that's why we ended up where we ended up with the feds shutting it down. Now, the interesting thing is Janet Yellen the Secretary of the Treasury came out and said, we're not bailing out Silicon Valley Bank. You know, like they did in 2008. All these guys fucked up. They gave them a bunch of money and they were whole again. But they're not going to do it in this particular instance. And it's about time. Because frankly, nobody bails us, us out when we fuck up or get fucked over. So why should we bail out the fucking banks? Now, that said, that posed another problem. It wasn't just the banks that are suffering. It's the people, the innocent people that had their money in that bank, the companies that had their money in that bank. Somebody should help them, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it will save us from further problems. So Joe Biden comes in and says, look, we're going to guarantee everybody who had an account in that bank. And that's important because the FDIC uh, is there, but they only insure $250,000 for any one person. And with $208 billion in that bank, most people probably had more than $250,000 and they were going to lose money. But Joe Biden said, we're going to protect you. We're going to make sure the money's there. And why did he do that? He did that because that's what presidents do. Donald Trump, on the other hand, would have taken away all the regulations, had a problem like this, said it's not my fault, and let him twist in the wind. Instead, Joe Biden's doing the right thing for the people of this country. Remember that.